Hi everybody, this is Sandra, and the word for today, we're in Exodus 22, 21, I'm sorry, 22, and it says, if a man strive, which means struggle in Greek, and hurt, that means to wound in Greek, a woman with child, so that her fruit, which means descendant in Greek, depart um, from her, and yet no mischief, which means malice in Greek, follow. He shall be surely punished, which means torment in Greek, according as a woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judges de determine, means decide in Greek. And if any mischief, means malice in Greek, follow, then thou shalt give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot by foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe, which is a blow, for stripe, which is a blow in Greek. Um, let me turn this around here. Uh, this is what God gave me. I was just on Facebook, and it showed uh, should a ch the church stand up for uh, abortion. What a joke. Um, yes, they should. Uh, my God, the word says you should not kill. That's a commandment. Uh, that Bible says God gives these children their gift. Their blessing is what the word says. And if any preacher, any, any Christian that goes and gets an abortion, God says, I'm not telling you I'm saying, God says you're not a preacher and you are not a Christian. And it is a sin and it is wrong. Um, and, you know, Christians has been so silent for so many years for all these babies to be murdered. And the Bible says when somebody's killed that their blood cries out. All these babies that have been murdered over all these years, crying, screaming. You may not be able to hear it, but God can. God's hurt every child screaming when they rip an arm off, a leg off, crush their head. Um, I've even seen it on where... Uh, where a nurse was in there and she said the baby was still alive and that doctor took them scissors and went right up that baby's face even though it was still gasping it was still alive how disgusting how wicked has this world come to because Christians have not stand up they have not stood they have not come together as a unity God said every person in your church needs to stand you need to come together. You need to pray. God's not asking you to go out there by yourself. Come together as your church. Come every night before church or after church and come together in, uh, in a circle. Come up and pray together for God to stop abortions. Come together, God says, when they're having um, these um, uh, drag queens at the libraries. Get on your phone, every Christian, and bring it to the church. Every Christian, call on that phone and tell them that your tax money is not going for a library again if they don't stop this. You have the power. God says if they're teaching things in your school, their kids in school that they shouldn't be learning, God said take your kids out of school. Get you a lawyer and sue the school. You have the power. Come together in unity. Come together in unity and God will give us another chance. This is our last chance, God says. God said this is our last chance. I told you last year that God showed me a vision here at work. And that it's not just going to be the uh, Jews in the prison camps if socialism passes. It's going to be the Christians right along with them. What's it going to take? For them to come and break your door down, come to take your children, come to take your guns. What is it going to take to get you to take a stand? God said, take a stand. Come together in unity. Get a group in your church. Start coming against this and praying against it. And if you know anybody that has had an abortion and they did not know it was wrong, God can forgive them. That's what he said. All they have to do is ask for forgiveness. But you don't go back out and do that sin again. God said the last time when you asked for help and you got on your knees and you cried out to him, he gave you President Trump. God said he chose that man. It is, you know, he ain't a perfect man. He's a baby Christian. God says, do you remember what you was like when you were a Christian? Oh, I do. I used to say the F word so bad, I didn't even realize that I said it. 
It took a year for God to clean me up. A year. God is still not done cleaning us up. We're never going to be done long as we're here on earth. So this is what God's given me today. God said to take a stand. Have a meeting in your church about what is going on in the world and what that congregation and that church can do. You know, and it's just like the uh, the libraries. Give everybody in that church that phone number for them to call that library to stop this evil. God said he can give us one more chance and it's our last chance. One more chance, God said. We're not getting another one. We have one chance to turn this around. And I, another thing, God said if you're a Democrat, he says and you, if you're a Christian and if you walk into that booth and you vote for a Democrat, God said to tell you he's done with you. God said he ain't done just with you. He's done with your children. He will be done with your grandchildren. God said he will not hear you cry. God said you cannot be a Christian and vote and go have an abortion. To, uh, you cannot be a Christian and go in and vote for what is not of God. The word tells you what is right and wrong. The word. Get in your word and search it out. You don't have to get, even if you don't get in your word, get on your computer and see what the word says about abortions, what the word says about any sin. And just do what God tells us to do. All we have to do is listen. But God said this is our last chance. We will not get another chance. God said that the foundation is praying and asking God for more time for souls to be saved. God's trying to give us more time for the souls to be safe. We're going to have one move of uh, um, people being saved around this world like never before. God says for us to take a stand. Stand for what's right. Don't stand for what's wrong. Come together in your churches. Every church. Come together, all your people. You know, all you have to do sometimes is just make a phone call. My Lord, are you that scared to make a phone call? You know, and the word says you have not because you do not ask. If you need strength, ask God for supernatural strength, supernatural boldness, supernatural courage. Just get up and do what God is putting on your heart. And if God ain't putting nothing on your heart, then you need to go to him and repent and ask God to show you what he wants you to do. What does he want you to do? And start going out and doing what God tells you to do. So that's all I got to say for today. That's what God's given me. Y'all have a good day. Amen.